Right, Paul, uh, got there in the end. Uh, describe what the lads are feeling right now. Oh, just, I think, because we can't celebrate, there's still a job to do, you know, it, it's still going to be tough next week, but over the moon, I mean, uh, you were with us at half time, obviously, we were positive, but we said, look, it'd be no easy task today. Barely we're never going to come here and just give us it on a plate. And, and they made us work hard for it, game plan work for them, but a lot of times this season, We've went in at half time needing some at the second half. Mm. And again, although we went a goal down to a sloppy set piece, we, we had enough to play there to win two or three matches, you know. Absolutely. Like you said, the lads went down to quite a scrappy goal uh, from Berkeley there. Um, what was going through your mind when the goal went in there? We, did you, uh, did you have confidence in the lads that they'd find a way through, or you know, was it sort of squeaky bum time for you and the lads on the sideline? No, I think we're experienced enough as a management team now to know that uh, things change, and as long as we do the right things. But obviously, going one 0 down, the pressure's on us. But I just thought that they looked tired. Obviously, they had a few injuries. Uh, if we just kept rotating the ball, and chances had come, and that's what happened, you know. Right, so obviously this is a fantastic result taken into the uh, last game of the season. Um, I imagine training is going to be quite intensive this week, but what's going to be the message for the lads um, going through the rest of the week? Pretty much the same as this week. I mean, the pressure's been on us and, and other teams that were up there. The pressure's been there since Christmas, so it's nothing new, but obviously with one to go. Um, training's going to be lively, it'll be intense early on in the week and then it'll be based on set piece and fun later on in the week and hopefully we can do the job next Saturday. Absolutely. Lee Moore's celebration at the end was uh, full of passion, uh, got a yellow card for it, but uh, do you think that shows what it means to the lads, you know, getting to this stage of the season and being right in amongst it? Yeah, and like I said before, and not a lot of them have been in this position, so I think it's just the emotion coming out and. Lee Moon, if you look at the stats, doesn't score many goals, so for him to score, I think it showed all the lads, I mean, it's just amazing that the season they've had, and they're a credit to the club, so I'd just love it if we went and done the job, but it's going to be tough again next week. Absolutely. And uh, just one final thing, obviously Bedford Terrace has become quite an amazing place uh, this season, it's a great place to play football. Um, what would be your message to the fans on this, the final game of the season at Bedford Terrace? Uh, on a personal note, I just thank them for all their efforts, all, all the times they've travelled, all the times they've, they've sang their hearts out. Uh, um, we can't thank them enough, um, and the players love it. They, they actually buzz that they're playing at home because of the spectacle they make it. Um, and even if we'd have lost today, them fans would have still been right behind us. Um, we go out for a beer with them, we're on coaches with them, they're just. The, the best set of fans I've known in the Northern League. Right, Steve, a fantastic win, and uh, you managed to get yourself on the score sheet. Uh, talk us through how you and the lads are feeling right now. Brilliant, mate, absolutely over the moon. Uh, great support as well. That pushed us just to where we needed to be. Fantastic. Obviously, you went 1 0 down. Uh, what was going through the heads of uh, you and the players at that point? Just had to be patient. We didn't have to go too daft, too early. We stuck together. Uh, we're a bit 100 mile an hour at times. Uh, when we got the ball, we just had to start and we, we got there. Right? Absolutely. Uh, big game coming up at Heaton, obviously, next week. Um, how do you think you and the lads will be preparing uh, during the week? Uh, they've got us in twice training during the week. Uh, intense it'll be. And then it's just, I don't know, the pressure's on us, but we can still go there and get a point and then do the right uh, leagues hours. Absolutely. And uh, you talked about the crowd uh, before. Uh, Bedford Terrace has become such a fantastic place to watch football this season. Uh, what's it like for you and the lads turning up and playing in front of such passionate fans oh, every week? It's unbelievable. It really is. They are that extra man that we need when times are down there. We went one behind, but they're still behind us. And they pushed us all the way. Fantastic. And uh, from a personal point of view, um, how do you think you've performed this season? Yeah, I've had a, a bit of an up and down season for myself because of the injuries. Uh, and then I was out of the squad for a bit, but the lads were doing well, so I couldn't complain about it. And then got back in with the team.